Hey guys, how's it going? Now we do a lot of Windows how tos and tips and tricks videos here, but the one question that remains constant is that hey, which Windows software do you use for recording the screen? And well, that's what this video is all about. In today's video, I'll be talking about the top seven apps that you can use to easily record your Windows 11 or 10 screen. Now these apps are 100% free, and most of them don't even come with a watermark. So without wasting any time, this is one from Guiding Tech. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so kicking things off, by far the easiest method to record your Windows screen is by using the Windows Xbox Game Bar. Now, there are some slight cons here and there, which I will mention, but overall, it's the most convenient way to record your screen. Using the Game Bar is super simple. Just press the Windows plus G keys together and it will open the Xbox Game Bar overlay. Now, click on the recording button to start recording and that's it. And the only caveat here is that the Game Bar does not work for File Explorer or your desktop screen, so there's that. However, if you wish to record an app such as Chrome or especially your game, the Xbox Game Bar works very well. Alright, so next up, this is actually a paid software, but most PCs actually come with a licensed copy of MS Office. And if you're one of those, well, thankfully for you, you can actually record your Windows screen using Microsoft PowerPoint. Yep, you heard that right. Just open PowerPoint and open a new slide. Now switch to the insert tab and then click on the screen recording option at the top right corner. You will now be asked to select the area to record the screen. Finally, click the record button and the screen recording will start. Also, you can press Windows plus Shift plus Q to stop the recording when you're done. The recording here gets saved to your slide, but then you can just right click on it and choose to save media as and then save it locally on your PC. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so those were some of the basic screen recording tools, but what if you want something that's a bit more robust? Well, nothing gets as good as OBS. While most people these days use it for streaming, you can use it for recording your PC as well. Setting OBS is quite a task, but once you're done with it, it offers limitless customizations. You can use it to record your screen in high quality, add multiple sources, even duplicate them. And the UI here is quite modern too. And the best part here, it's completely free. Moving along is the recommendation that I personally use the most. It's called ShareX. It's free, it's open source, and honestly, it's just so easy to use. First off, to enable screen recording here, you'll have to head over to task settings, then head over to screen recorder, and then finally click on screen recording options. It'll prompt you to download the FFmpeg exe package file, but once that's done, just go back to the main screen, click on capture, and then select screen recording. Just select the frame area of your choice and get started. I know it sounds like a task, but once you're done, you can record without any interruptions or limits whatsoever. Next up, another great and free screen recording app that I recently stumbled upon is called Flashback Express. It's really good and I have to recommend it to you guys. And despite being a free version of a paid program, Flashback Express won't put any watermarks over your recordings. And most importantly, it's packed with features and tools that rival many premium apps as well. Now you get a clean and simple to use UI and the app allows you to record from your whole screen a window, a selected area, or even just your webcam. Once you've finished, your recording will appear in a simple editor where you can crop and trim it to suit your needs and then finally export it to YouTube, an FTP server, or just save it locally on your PC. Next up, we have Debut Video Capture, which unless you're a gamer, should satisfy all of your needs in the free version itself. And the software comes with the tools that you would expect to find in premium software, including scheduled recordings and flexible output options. And you use it to capture recordings not only from your screen, but also from your webcam, as well as IP cams. The features here are pretty good too, and while the interface isn't really modern, it surely doesn't let the software down. The only caveat here that I feel is that it does not work for full screen apps. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Next up, we have a software that was, well, actually recommended by a lot of you guys in our previous video, and I have to say, it's really good. It's called FreeCam, and the software actually works very well. Now, while the free version itself is limited to 760p resolution and allows you to save files in just the WMV format, it does offer plenty of other features that make it a compelling option. You can easily highlight the cursor, trim and edit your videos and all these features are packed inside a beautiful interface that's easy to use and super modern. Okay, so those were seven best apps, but before we wrap this video, a lot of you guys might be wondering why I haven't mentioned Bandicam here. 
well i'll be honest with you it's a nice software to use but it's just that the free version feels very limiting in comparison to all these apps you're limited to 10 minutes of recording per file and each file will have a watermark on it now with that being said you can use bandicam to record the full screen or select an area draw on the screen add various overlays including your logo an image or even your webcam footage and if you're into gaming you can also use bandicam to record your gameplay footages but yeah once again i'll just restress on the fact that bandicam's free version feels super limiting so i would suggest using the other apps or the other software that i mentioned and well that was it as always you can find the download links to all of the apps that i talked about down in the description box if you found this video helpful make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content till then this is one from guiding tech and i'll see you in the next one